welcome to the next episode of the Bro Link. Hello. The yeah, and this guy's here. Um, but the important thing is, is that we're actually going to do the tower and the gym today, which means we get our mega today, even though we we've been saying that the last two episodes. We got slightly sidetracked, and for that, our bad. Uh, also not our bad, though, because I needed it. I, I, yeah. I needed uh, it. Should, we should give a team recap. We haven't done that in a while. Hey, let me get my water stone. Calm down. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um... But you can see on the layout what it is, but we'll still recap it for you. It's fine. Uh, all right, we'll start with, I guess. Yup. Candle! The Mega Kangaskhan Refrigerate. And uh, my custom lamp, which I'm running a lot of fire on my side, I've realized. Yes. Next, we have Mamin. The newest member, which... Shedskin Shaman. Sniper Custom Weavile, who is out for blood. Leviathan, the Cedra with Runaway. Oh, hey, we have a Runaway pair. <laughs> Which is with Meliodas, the uh, custom... My entire team is custom forms. This is so unfair. None of mine are custom form. <laughs> Get a Mega. True. Uh, and then finally, Naman, the Excelgore with, with Adaptability. Helios, the custom Rayquaza. With Sand Rush to boost that speed. It's okay. A little slow. Let's head into the Tower of Mastery finally. Well, I go and grab that because maybe it's that Razor Claw. I mean, or maybe it's that Shiny Stone to evolve the, your Lamp Pit. Yeah, because I can't have an Eevee light, apparently. Oh, really? I don't have 40 things in that deck. Oh, so. sucks for you. Oh. I'm going to play your I... song on the tiniest violin. <laughs> Uh, I feel like they had a time travel episode in Spongebob where present Spongebob met past Spongebob. Um, okay. Is that a, that's a meme? I think it's a meme because I saw this, I saw that thumbnail on YouTube and I was like, that this must be a meme, right? Right? I mean, they've been doing weird stuff with Spongebob recently. I was actually just talking to my coworker about this because uh, I was like, we're just talking about what TV shows I've been watching and I was like, did you watch old Spongebob? She's like, yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, SpongeBob was weird. And then we did the chocolate thing. Chocolate! No, 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 no. The oh. other one. Oh. Chocolate. I remember when chocolate was first invented. <laughs> I always hated it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so or, funny. I love it. Or glass bones, paper skin. Yes, that's. Oh, man. It's like. Dude, that's all in the same episode. That episode was just prime quality for yeah. memes. It's, it's great. The memes are still great now. Uh, no, but um, that brings up a great topic because the last episode has been a little bit, little bit light on topics, so we're like, let's bring up some conversation topics, but hey, it leads yeah. great into this one, which is if you could travel back in time, what year would you visit? I don't have a specific year, but I know a couple of t a time period. Okay. The Renaissance. Okay, because this, this is a nice conversation topic because you're just visiting. It's not you're stuck there. You're just visiting. Great. Plus, I'd like to look at some of Da Vinci stuff personally. Ooh, there must be another thing I saw. This is great, actually. Great. <laughs> this is like really sparking things in my head. Okay, so uh, just recently there was, I believe, uh, an Italian home that is going on sale. And it's a very sad thing because this house has... I think the only ceiling painting in the world that hasn't been altered at all done by Michelangelo. Oh my word. Yes. I'm sorry, should that place even be sold? Um, so Isn't that like a net, like world treasure at this point? Kind of, yeah. So the uh, actual owner of the estate recently died and his widow um, actually wanted to make it a museum, but the sons of him wanted to sell the property because they wanted the because I think it's valued at like 530 million well yeah yeah when you have a world treasure as your ceiling yeah but that's one of those like crazy things that's still in the world and like has not been touched you know you could afford an Italian mansion for like under a million dollars no, why? Is it the conversion rate just that crazy or like I guess it's just the way it happens to be for pricing. Huh. Whereas an apartment in New York is over a million dollars. Mm-hmm. I saw um in 
California, I think it is. They just sold the worst house on the best block, which sold for 2.38 million and doesn't have a bathroom. That's disgusting. Yup. Yes, I'm ready. Please don't destroy me. That's what happens when I end up reading like articles all. Oh, hello, Giratina. Origin. Oh, which is kind of worse, but also better. I don't know. Oh, she only oh this is actually great. Oh, well, you had to flash me back. You always get flashback. Shut up. <laughs> I know I do. Wait, we can roast you. I can hit him with my normal type moves because refrigerate. Yes, that's the thing that's crazy with America is our housing market is absolute poodoo. It's so bad right now. <laughs> like, please help us, uh, foreign, uh, foreign commenters. Please share things and about like your house, your all's housing. Yeah, I was actually um, talking with that same corker today about um, uh, becoming a real estate agent because if you just have the right connections, you can make like really nice money off of it. Yeah, you can make serious bank. That's actually what a lot of people like our age who have already made millions do. Is they just do real estate? Cause they're bored. I mean, no, they just like that's what they focused in on and like they just have their own houses now and they're fine. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. I was trying to remember what I was checking. I was like, oh yeah, Mega Kang has gone stats. Its attack stat is 125. I guess that shows how bulky Giratina is then. Yes, yes it does. Uh, that was a super effective like one. Oh man, hold on. It's stab, so it's like 110. Then it's also super effective, uh, strength and it has a refrigerator. 80 power, so yeah, you'd be at 120, and then it's like plus the refrigerate added bonus. I don't remember the percentage. I don't Sorry. either. And then it's also super effective, so like that's like a lot of stuff stacked. It just shows how bulky the darn thing is. I guess so. What year would I visit? I'm actually curious. Please, I. Oh, oh. I'll, I'll honestly wait for a moment. I might be more interested in visiting here in the future. Interesting. Oh, hold on. Sorry, I said back in time, but that is more interesting to me. Um, see, back in time, I... Oh, you... Mm. Oh. I'd be kind of interested to go to 1998. Fighting a Moltres, hello. Why? Like, honestly... Yes, um... So that was the year that Google was made. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yes, so I think I could get in on the Google idea on an early enough stage that I could essentially be a founder, or at least a high-level executive, and barely have to do anything to do it. No, but I was actually looking at, um, gosh, another article um, that talked about what businesses were started the year you were born. Um, and I don't think you could even guess the business that was started the year that I was born. No, I probably couldn't. Okay. TGI Fridays. No. Uh, it was Alibaba. What is that? Alibaba is like the Chinese purchasing market for sales that go on like Amazon and eBay in mass quantities. That is different looking. That's a custom Raikou. I know. I thought I knew what the Raikou looked like, but that looks different. I'm threatened. And now I don't know what typing it is. Um, confuse Ray it. Just do all the things to it. <laughs> Cause I just yeah. have so many status things on this. Um, but yeah, you could buy like 5,000 or something for like the, you know, the lower rate being the rate it's actually made for. And then when people buy it on those sites, you get the difference between it. Okay, I, I, I follow? Yeah, so you end up making like quite a bit of money if your product is bought. It's a kind of interesting service. Like you can make really good money off that as well. Should I wait for you in the uh, nah, it's gym? Fine. Okay, just bolt. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, Batman has some great meme moments. Which actually, that is something I started doing recently, kind of on a whim, as I'm replaying Batman Arkham Asylum. Ooh. I still need to play Arkham Knight. I have not finished it, but I probably got like halfway. I got sidetracked. All right, I'm like, I want to refresh myself on the story because I may, or maybe I got frustrated because the tank controls weird. Fair enough. 
A little in my own opinion. And by tank, I do mean the Batmobile, for those of you who don't know. I don't know how many of you that is, but... Just covering bases so you're not all confused as to why Batman's driving a tank. Okay, okay. What's our next topic? Next topic. We're going to stick on the history thing. Ooh, yay. If you could visit with any person in history, who would it be? Hmm. Hmm. I think someone has a ground type move, right? Yep. Let's see, some of these would be very interesting. I just kind of want to throw it out there and, like, vibe out the room here. I... Hitler. Okay. Early Hitler. Like, art school Hitler. I might want to meet, like, Genghis Khan or King Arthur if I could. Mm. Well, that one relates to a different debate. Why? Is King Arthur real? Yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering, too, when you said it. That's why I said it's an ongoing debate. This is the gym where we use our roller skates. What do you mean? Uh, for the Arthur thing or in this? This. It's a Mewtwo, by the way. Of course it's... Retreat! What you were saying? Uh, basically this gym was just designed around the roller skates. Oh, right, you're a steel type. That's the whole reason I threw out the ground type move user. Sorry, I had to bring Ray Plaza back out. My game's decided to choose violence today. I would like to meet King Arthur. I'd like to see Camelot. That's her. The scary thing is that YouTube is faster. That is scary. Um... I'm going to pray that I am not murdered. Okay. So, like that, if it's... Okay, if we're going to do people that we are certain are real, mm -hmm. for, like, convenience sake... Okay. Hmm. Genghis Khan? Okay. Um, I would, I would probably give you that you can, like, communicate in some way with them. Because, obviously, we do not speak the same language. No, we don't. I'm trying to think about, uh, I mean, there's like a lot of people in history who'd be very interesting to talk to. Exactly. I threw Genghis Khan because one of the greatest military minds. Yeah. We have or like Sun Tzu. We have like our founding fathers too, who'd be interesting to talk to and see what their thoughts were. Yeah, exactly. I do not have any steel or poison, so we're just going to chill out here. Or with people who've made like some large discoveries in the world. Like, can you imagine talking to like Thomas Edison? Awesome. Yeah, there's so many people who have made contributions to even the un like almost unsung ones. Like maybe the guy who made Coke. Yeah. The drink, not the drug. You can so, do um, the I'd guy be who made curious about that guy too. Peanut butter? Yeah. Um You got it. George Washington Carver. There you go. I uh, I got there, it just took a few more seconds than I would have liked. Peanut butter is delicious. Exactly. All right. All Which right. one of these sorts of people would you want to bring to the present? For, um, I'm going to say 72 hours. Um, like, who would you want to bring forward? That that That's a really tough thing about anyone from history. Is that... All right, okay, we so, learning so I've, heard, I've heard this um, terminology used, and I think it fits very well, but they're, they would be like a classic James Bond movie villain by today's standards. Because a lot of the people who we know from like um, history books are probably um, racist or sexist, and are these ideas haven't been introduced to them yet. Hey, look, there's you. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> well, cool. So that's the hard thing about bringing almost anyone from the past, because we have things that we've introduced over the last 20 years that have basically changed most of society, and you can't introduce that in 72 hours to someone. 
Your point is acknowledged. Yes, it's a very hard thing to really sit down and look at. Like how time travel is strictly a white guy fantasy. <laughs> I can honestly say that, but I'm just more amused by the uh, topic, I guess, on that. Yes, it's, a, it's an interesting idea, but like it is so true. Okay, now I do want to ask you, um, we had talked about this beforehand a little bit, um, and you haven't, but I know you haven't seen the Harry Potter reunion. No, no. But I do want to talk a little bit about Harry Potter in itself, being oh. that, have you ever taken the Wizarding World quiz? Yes. Which one? What, okay, well, let's start with this. What house are you in? Ravenclaw. Okay. I'm going to probably guess you are not surprised in the least. No. Um, but did you try like... to take the test multiple times at all? No, I was basically kind of... Cont I was like, I got what I wanted. Yeah. So... Um, I also got Ravenclaw, at least the first time I did the test. Ooh. Yes. Um, I am a person who I would say embodies multiple houses in a sense and has attributes from them. So I can what, see that. What would you say would be the secondary house for me? Slytherin? No. Interesting. I do see that cunning in you though. But I'll give you the 50 50 for the last chance. Huffle. Huffle. Alright, I'm gonna ask you, what do you think I would? Oh, for you, I think it would be Slytherin. I am way too conniving for my own good. Yeah, I, that doesn't even feel like a competition to me. No. I, I am smart, but I am a conniving little bugger. Um, some I, I, idea I've hired um, is that, especially, so... Oh. See, I think I initially took the test um, probably back in high school. And obviously you change as you grow older. Mm -hmm. So I feel like in initially I was more of a Ravenclaw type. But over the years and the different experiences I've had for the last probably like five years leads me more towards a Hufflepuff viewpoint. Mm. Yes. I, I can see I can see the uh, logic here. Yes, so I think I am like more in between those houses, but I also think I lean more on the Hufflepuff side nowadays, regardless of the fact that I still more identify with Ravenclaw. Okay, I've seen yeah. you have lost one of them. That's kind of an interesting um, thing. Yeah. Um, did you end up taking the uh, Patronus quiz, do you know? Yes, I'm up to have a bird. Okay, I think I probably also got something similar to that. I can't really remember, but it does bring up the other topic that I wanted to bring up. Um, Shoot two. And this question phrases it, if you could turn into an animal, what would it be? But let me throw the Harry Potter spin on it. Mm. If you could be an anime guy, what would you be? Mm. Might be like an owl or an eagle or... Okay, now actually, hold on. Um, do you know how the process is to become an anime guy? It is long and kind of gross. Yeah, it takes like months, like on, on borderline a year, because yeah. I know I know part of it. I think it's the first part of it. You have to take a mandrake leaf and put it in your mouth and have it there for a month. Yeah. Okay, I seem to have lost one of the trainers. Okay, but it said that when you, or you become an animagus, it's more of like bringing out an internal thing in you. Uh, ah. Not necessarily something that you identify with in your mind, but you identify with more in your heart and soul sense. I feel like that would then be closer to cats. Okay, fair enough. I identify with cats a lot more than you'd think I would. Plus, um, cats be awesome. Shout out to cats. I actually can't think of one. Um, maybe you can help me then. Mm. What do you feel like I would be? Mm. Give me one moment because I have uh, more picking up icicle crash. Mm. Maybe a big cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, you seem like, to be all the cats. <laughs> I mean, with all the strays you seem to pick up. Yeah, I kind of wonder if I did not 
meet my girlfriend if I ever would have got animals, especially at this point in life. I mean, I do see your point. Yes. So I wonder if that's more influenced by, by her. her or at the same time. It that has, was a bad grind. It has influenced me to a point where it has taken on more of a part of myself. It's, it, it's certainly an interesting topic in that sense. Yeah. Either the... Well... Hmm. Hang on, I'm trying to think on how freezing... Can you try to say it then? Well, you used to just kind of hang around at the house a lot. Yeah, that's true. You would only really come out for food or things, so maybe a bear? That'd be interesting. All right. I wouldn't mind being a bear. So, kind of a thought there. All right. I am about to start the gym leader fight. What's your favorite um, trip you've actually taken? Oof. I think my Switzerland trip just rates really high. Yeah, you should like go ahead and tell the people about that, about that Switzerland trip. Well, the reason I was going on this trip was to go climb some mountains in the Alps. Which, we did do a hike up those mountains. It was great. Though we were outpaced by two elderly Hungarian men. <laughs> Hungarian? I think they were Hungarian. Oh. Uh, I can hear the lo Oh no, are you dead? Maybe? Wow, how fast did you lose him? Uh, he got hit by the sludge bomb, I think, or sludge. Took him to 15, poison dead. Wow. I thought the Zen headbutt would kill. I mean, me too, honestly. Yeah, I did it for a scout trip. We stayed at a local scout camp. Uh, Konderstag. Uh, wasn't it, like, super windy there? That was Scotland. Oh, okay. Scotland is where I nearly died. Yeah, um, I kind of cause chaos wherever I go unintentionally. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Um, why did you nearly die, though? Uh... Scotland, I was nearly blown off the mountain. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say so casually. <laughs> the winds were really strong that day. So, and that kind of was not fun. Let me get some chip damage on you. So, the Switzerland trip, we were... We flew by plane into... The capital. Mm-hmm. We stayed there for a couple of days in a hostel. Okay. And then we drove towards the scout camp. Oh, not drove. Wrong thing. I think we used the train. Oh. Very nice. We gotta look through all the Swiss countryside. That was a mistake. And I learned that Switzerland has multiple languages. Which would be French, German, Italian, and Latin. So, yeah, we went and climbed the mountain. We stayed at an alpine hut where I actually got to try veal. Very good. Isn't it veal's baby cow? Yes. Very tender. But good food. I'm pretty sure. What does tender mean? Like, it's not tough to chew. It was, like, really easy. Okay, I want to make sure. Yeah, saw some other scouts from other countries, too. Some Italians. That was interesting. I did try a sauna while I was there as well. We mm. just did a lot of stuff. That sounds nice. It was. It's an odd experience. To just sit in a sauna? Yeah. And I did try out some Swiss foods. I mean, it's a sauna. You're basically just... Um, Sitting there and sweating. Kind of the point, though. Yep. And wow, I win. You lost a pair, though. I underestimated Weezing defense stat. Thank you for wasting my time with that TM. String shot, ladies and gentlemen. If it was an anime string shot... <laughs> yeah, then it's actually pretty good. <laughs> I mean, or anime vine whip. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that, though. I wish we could do more stuff like that. One day. Oh, God! Okay. What do you... All right. Okay. What have we got? I got heal pulse, by the way. 
Ooh. Ooh. It's not edible. Uh, does Rayquaza? That Rayquaza's probably getting in the way, you know? <laughs> I know. Actually, we lose. <laughs> we <laughs> yeah, can't you do. Touch it. Uh, Which means the parent dies. No. No one plays it like that. Because no. you can't use your whole team, so it's like kind of an unfair way to view it. Alright, well, uh, well, that game's off anyway! I even, oh, man, even if I got Mewtwo, I don't even know if I could convince myself that that would be a good thing. Oh, to she's do. whipping out that. Yeah. That's not good. Wow! That's actually amazing. <laughs> oh, I don't think we even should name these. No, I don't. I, I think this is just a pair that ends up getting used as tokens. Which sucks a little bit that we actually had to get Latios and Latios. It's funny! Like, for you all the watching this, I'm betting this is absolutely hysterical. I'm the best chance for a good encounter here. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could. Okay. I didn't get the horde, so I just got a Shinx, I guess. Can there be hordes on water? Not really. Or only certain routes. Um... Can you catch that to see what type it is? Yeah... I mean, it could be a replacement water pair, to be honest. Though so this time I get the water. Yeah. Because I think this is something that could benefit us um, both. Hmm. Now I have to figure out what to do to it. I mean, I could use my Lampant? You have both... It's a normal type. No more dark. Man. I think I can still attempt to catch. Yeah. Yep. Wow. What, what, what is this? <laughs> I know. It, it's really the way they changed that math for catch rates. Definitely made it way easier to catch stuff. Woo, I got a squirtle. Ah, uh, well, I guess that's it for this episode. Well, you saw ups, downs, another death. Yep. Great. <laughs> I think the doctor, good doctor, is struck speechless. Yo. So, uh, we will catch you all in the next episode. I guess it's on my channel. Bye. Bye-bye.